Well then, hello everybody. My name is Justin. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that voice. Anyways, hi everyone. Welcome to a remake of a video I did a really long time ago. Well, not that long ago, I guess. I mean, it wasn't a few months ago. But anyways, I thought my voice sounds sounded stupid in that video, and it probably does in this one too. So anyways, let's just go on to the um, tutorial. And I'm not going to tell you guys the title, because you can see it right there, down below, wherever. So, it's obviously this tutorial and i already pre-made everything on like in the old tutorial in that other tutorial anyways so basically what we're gonna do here after i okay i don't know what's happening or control m yes just please I will get back to you people. Anyways, there we go. Um, I fixed it by basically just tinily exporting the whole entire project and then reopening it, it again because I have absolutely no idea how to fix that. Anyways, so now that we have our beautiful character right there, let's just zoom in on him. Yes. Anyways, I'm wasting a lot of time right now, and I bet everyone has already left this video. Anyways, so basically, since this is a dual tutorial, I guess is what you can call it, I'm going to show you guys how to make sprite art also in GIMP. So first thing you want to do is zoom in really close on your canvas, and you can zoom in by pressing the plus and, e and minus button on your keyboard. It's not hard at all, and if you don't know how to do that, then what? Well, I don't know, because I just told you. I don't want to see my beautiful Kirby background right now. Anyways, basic. Now that you're very much zoomed in on your canvas, um, take your beautiful pencil, uh, change it to one pixel, and change the size to one. And now you can make sprite art. But see, when you want to erase something, you can't quite erase it with the default eraser. So you want to go down here and make sure this box is checked. Without it. Everything is stupid and takes years to erase. So you just turn on hard edge and boom, 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 boom. I don't know. I'm just really bored right now. Anyways, um, I'm doing a very strange voice for some reason. And I don't know why. But next, now we're going to learn how to take that beautiful sprite animation you made. Probably wasn't that beautiful. Anyways, and then um, making it, I don't know, animated for a game or something. I don't care what you use this for. So, as you guys could probably see by now, I've already made ourselves a little pixel character man. And what you're going to do is you're going to get out your select tool once you have the first frame, of course. And if you don't have the first frame, then you're really stupid. I'm just kidding. I, I, I love all my viewers equally. Anyways, you're going to want to click on him once you take out your select tool select area. Make sure you click on that selected area. Then you're going to do control C, and if you're using a Mac, that's command C or something like that. I don't know why they did that when they already have a control C on the keyboard. I know there's a control there. There's a control on a Mac's keyboard. Anyways, next you're going to start animating it, and I don't care what you people do, just do this. Just do this. Right, what we're going to do here, since I'm really lazy, we're going to do shift control M. I mean, I'm sorry, I mean shift control L and just this. You guys will see what I'm doing here. You just keep on doing that for a while. Just keep on doing that for a while. I think in the old tutorial, uh, I made it to where I just like copied the layer or whatever and then I like just pasted it on the next one. I don't know why I did that. I was really stupid. I was a very stupid 13 year old because I was still 13 in that one. So, now, since you have your first three frames, you're going to want to, like, get the second frame in your animation. So, uh, control C, because I forgot what the button was for a second, and then control V over here. And I didn't mention this, but I have the grid up, and the grid is a very useful tool. This looks weird. Anyways, and what you're going to do to enable your grid is go to view on this thing and show grid 
Because I don't know how else you people would see a grid unless you could show it to other people. And it's going to be like 10 by 10 or something. That's really stupid. I don't know why that's the default. So you're just going to go over to Image, Configure Grid, and change this to, I don't care, 16 by 16? But depending on what you're doing. I mean, this is a 16 by 16 sprite, so you do the half of whatever. I don't know. So now that we have our beautiful character, let's go ahead and save him. I, like I said before, when I had to fix that thing, I had to save the file, so I already saved it. So now you have your beautiful file in your documents. Right there. I forgot to save it to the desktop. And what we're going to do now, so I can actually show you guys how this thing works. Get off, get off my desktop, bad. Anyways, um, now that I can show you guys how this works out, I'm just going to open up Game Maker here. It's going to look ugly, probably. Um, create this sprite. And just... That works. And... Create from strip, because... I don't even know why I'm explaining Game Maker. No, you guys don't get any explanation on great Game Maker. <laughs> Anyways. Four. Four. And then we got to do this and this. Don't worry about this. This isn't part of the tutorial. I'm just trying to show you guys how it works. And we're going to stretch this image by, I don't care, um, that took a lot for it to do. Uh, okay, I'm going to make an object here. Just don't worry about what I'm doing. If you guys want to see gaming tutorials, then go watch one of those, I don't care. And... Gotta make her guy, and then gotta make a room. Like I said, don't worry about this because it doesn't matter to you. And that's a little bit big. So, let's just. Uh, oops, I want 128. I want 121, I want 128. And it looks really awkward now. It doesn't matter. Just pretend like uh, this all doesn't exist here. There. It's just whatever. You guys made an animated sprite, but it looked really awkward when I did all that. So, is, is it getting faster? I don't care. Anyways, so that was my tutorial. Not anyone else's tutorial. That was my tutorial that I made on how to make yourself a character or, or a sprite and then animate that sprite in GIMP. Because, yeah, copyright bugger 10. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, goodbye, and I hope you like this video or whatever people on YouTube always ask. I, I forgot what they ask. What did they ask them? I don't, I don't remember. Anyways, goodbye. My name is bugger 10 and I will see you all later. Goodbye.